The other day in my study, I wrote these words down on a piece of paper. And I was so frustrated because I felt such pressure and I felt like I didn't have the message. And I, and I was just, I was sweating it. I was just, it was aggravated. It's this feeling that comes on you when you don't have the words and you don't have the message and the clock is ticking and all of y'all are coming and you're like a bunch of hungry birds and I'm supposed to have the worm. And I was stressing out, I was tense, I was upset, nothing was speaking to me, nothing was going off in me, nothing. And I looked up in my office and I said, God, why did you choose me? I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not smart enough to do this. He said, you've only been doing it 40 years, dummy. But I'll never forget what the Lord told me. I wrote it down. He said, I chose you because you are you. I didn't need somebody else. I didn't want somebody else. I'm not interested in somebody else doing what I've called you to do. I chose you because you're you. And here I am. This is all I am. This is all I have. But what you are when he touches it, oh, when he gets you from his hand, when he slips into your shoes, and he says, let me take you somewhere that you never dreamed. Yeah, I, could, I could get a Ph.D. I could get somebody with so many degrees. They're like a thermometer. But I'd rather have you. Don't you look at me funny like I don't know what I'm preaching about. I've seen those hands give to me things that I never dreamed I'd have. I've seen those feet usher me right in. I've seen them walk me right into the Oval Office and sit down and preach to a president. Don't tell me God can't use you. Don't tell me God can't reach through you. Don't tell me God can't take your weakness and make it his strength. Somebody give God a praise right Right now. Woo! Hallelujah! Well, I feel the call of God in this room on somebody's listening to me, and you have no idea what God's about to do in your life, but we're going to look, we're going to see the before and after shot of you, and you're going to stand there and scratch your head and say, it all happened when I heard him challenge me. Handle me. Get a hold of the Word again. Get a hold of prayer until tears are straight. Get a hold of fasting again. Get a hold of, of worship. I mean, not just in church, but in your car and in your house, in your apartment, in, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your workplace. Handle me and see. Because anything He's done before, He can do again. If he's ever brought you victory before, he can do it again. If he's ever set you free before, he can do it again. If he's ever opened doors for you, he can do it again. If he's ever healed your body, he can do it again. Anything that he's done before, he can do again. Three things are Two or three, depending on how long I feel like preaching. Number two, anything he's done anywhere else, he can do it right here. Because he's standing right here. The Holy Spirit, through the eyes of faith, are standing in every church right at the front of it. And he's saying, come handle me and see what I can do with that family. See what I can do with that mistake. See what I can do with that bad choice. See what I can do with that, with that busted marriage. See what I can do. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.